It's a well-established fact that routines can be most helpful or even essential in accomplishing your objectives. And for sure, with the time constraints placed on most music directors, effective routines are essential in successfully teaching jazz fundamentals. I'm going to let Dave Coberdall, one of the Valley High School band directors, show you how he uses the Jazz Everyone materials to develop routines for a young band learning jazz fundamentals. Here is David with a warm-up routine that helps students internalize that all-important syncopated 12-8 time feeling essential in swinging eighth notes. Later, students will go up and down the blues scale with these triplets in their warm-up. Play along with that real soft. Now, David uses the online reference track in Lesson 2 of the Beginner's Corner to guide students in hearing and correctly playing one of the more difficult jazz rhythms, believe it or not, Two eighth notes together that really swing. Exactly like this. Right on the money. Next, the students play a four note online swing pattern to continue learning to hear and correctly play longer eighth note patterns. Now the rhythm section takes over and students play a traditional four note blues riff without the online reference tape. The age old call and response strategy kicks in between the horns and the other melody players, creating a quick Routine was a big benefit. These kids are actually starting to swing. You're playing melodies. You're playing, uh, let's have you come and you play the melodies. Same thing they're playing. No, you let it rhythm strum. Okay, you rhythm strum and you come. You guys play melodies. Yeah, give me the big rhythm strum all what? the way through this. A two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> David continues to build routines with rhythms and full band harmonies that are available for a number of the Jazz Everyone lessons. And by the way, uh, this is the first time these students have combined these harmonies with a riff to form this effective routine. Next, students play the Lesson 2 Etude with the harmonies and a selected rhythm pattern. There's a large number of unison riffs available in every key that make excellent routines when combined with the full band harmonized background. I think you'll agree that it's possible to effectively integrate some of these routines into your classroom schedule, even on a limited time basis. If it's only 5-10 minutes every time you meet over a semester or two, it's going to pay off in a big way. Students need to get their noses out of the music to ever really swing. And if you want some solo players in a band, they have to have opportunities to improvise on a regular basis. Here, everyone gets in on the improv game, learning to create rhythm-based vocabulary. <laughs> Fine.
finally, the band reads the Do-Dit Blues for the first time with a little solo action by one of the more experienced players in this young band. One, two, one, two, three, video will encourage you to consider teaching jazz fundamentals to your students. The Jazz Anyone Classroom series I created for Warner Brothers is still available from Alfred Music. The online beginners and intermediate corners as well as the pentatonic power pack lessons are all correlated with the online text. When lessons are presented in the classroom, a lot of time downloading the printer-friendly lessons can be saved with the Jazz Anyone books. In closing, let me say this. Swinging is a natural result that more often occurs when students have an opportunity to play for extended periods of time without music or interruption. Classroom routines can provide this opportunity. For more advanced programs, I'll be available to personally suggest and help you build routines that fit your jazz program level and schedule. Just remember what Duke Ellington said, If it ain't got that swing, it don't mean a thing. Or was it, it don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Either way applies. <laughs>